I'm not going to let you blame yourself, okay? Drew saw going to Afghanistan as, as his duty. He didn't do it just for you. He, he did it for all of us. And that includes Oscar. You share more than his name and his memories. You share a son. And I know he would be proud of him and of you. I don't know how you do it. You're so generous, even though you're so clearly hurt. It's true. When I walk into that courtroom, people are going to think that I'm trying to assume the identity of a hero. I just don't know how to manage that. Okay. When you talk to Dr. Collins, you just remember what is in your heart and in your mind. If that remains true, then Drew Kane never dies. to send me out of the room like a little kid. I'm not keeping anything from you, but there are details that Scott and I need to discuss. Hey, hey, kid, listen, 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 listen. It's just dull stuff, you know, it's it's legal business, you know. I do it for a living and it, it bores me to death. I don't care, I want to be there for it all. And you, you will be, but I also need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, like with your homework and soccer and hanging out with your friends. Franco would want you to live every second of your life to the max. Can you do that for him? For me? Okay. Okay. I know what to do. This a good time? Good time is any. Sometimes it helps to separate the colors. There is your focus. So a really good tip. Thank you. It's been a while since we spoke. Yes, it has been a while since you handed me your card and told me that you were going to shrink me. Actually, I think I said it was a good listener. Now you're here to prove that I'm not capable of making my own decisions. I'm here to talk with you and draw my own conclusions. You're welcome to be evaluated by a psychiatrist that you choose, of course. Except that this has already been arranged. If you ask me, the burden of proof is on Elizabeth to prove that I'm not capable of making my own decisions. Which I'm guessing is why you're here. Well, as Franco's former therapist, I can judge the change in your state of mind. Hmm. How about we focus on the real puzzle? What would that be? You. Cameron's really committed to getting Franco back. When Franco comes back, I am going to make sure that he knows how proud he should be of his stepson. Yeah, he will be. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay. So um, you can start by telling me what it is that you didn't want to say in front of Cameron. All right, well, I'm going to give it to you straight. I got the preliminary witness list here, and... Some of the people that Franco's attorney are going to call may be a problem. Such as? Your boss. Monica? She's not a psychiatrist. She won't be testifying as a doctor. She'll be testifying as a mother. Janice. Hi. Dr. Nero, how are you? We miss you. Aw, thank you. I am fine. I'm uh, actually here for a meeting to discuss my reinstatement with Dr. Hanover. Okay. Looks like Dr. Hanover has been delayed in surgery. No, that's fine. I'll wait. <laughs> Dr. Nero. Kim. Hey. Um, how you doing? How's... School? School's fine. It's everything else. Is there a place that we can talk? 